And today for Kate Baldwin, we begin with breaking news. Police have made an arrest in connection to the murders investigation of four college students in Idaho. Two federal law enforcement sources tell CNN that the FBI took a suspect into custody in northeastern Pennsylvania. The arrest comes nearly seven weeks after the students were found stabbed to death in a home near the University of Idaho campus. Police in Moscow, Idaho, will hold a news conference later this afternoon. And CNN's Veronica Miracle is live in Moscow, Idaho, with the very latest. Veronica? Well, Amara, as you said, those federal uh, sources telling our CNNs, Josh Campbell and Mark Morales, that an arrest has been made. Uh, we understand that at this point it is a man in his 20s, but beyond that, there are very few details coming out at this hour. I did speak with police this morning where they said there is going to be that news conference at 1 p.m. today. They would not tell me any further details, but just for context, this is the first press conference that the police department has held in weeks. Uh, we understand that this is going to be obviously a major development where they're going to be uh, talking about that arrest, but it has been nearly seven weeks since the murders happened here at this home behind me. And you can see actually today uh, another monumental day here at the crime scene that has been very relatively quiet over the past few weeks. There is a cleanup crew here uh, cleaning this house today, and it's going to be eventually turned back over to the property owner. Um, and so we understand that so much is happening here in Moscow and the police department making this big announcement today. And it also comes on the heels when two families are going to be holding a celebration of life this evening in Quarter Lane. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away from here, northern Idaho, Madison Mogan and Kaylee Gonsalves. They were the best of friends. The families have been planning this for a couple of weeks now. They're going to be holding it at a local church. And uh, certainly there's going to be a lot for the families to be discussing tonight. And, and, and Veronica, I know you've been following this story for, for weeks now. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about just how this, these murders have impacted the community, how we've got to this point, and also the fact you know, that investigators have been quite tight-lipped about any new development. So this is obviously um, you know, a, a huge development that uh, we're hearing today certainly coming as a shock because, as you said, they have been so uh, tight-lipped this entire time. Nearly the full seven weeks, there has been very little information released, and I think that's why some of the families, at least one of the families, have been very outspoken. The Gonsalves family uh, really just frustrated with the lack of information, but the entire time, police were telling us and the public that they had strong leads, that they had a lot of information coming in, and that they were trying to keep the information close to protect the integrity of this information investigation. Uh, this happened again seven weeks ago. Four students murdered. The coroner says that they were likely murdered in their sleep. Some of them had defensive wounds, and so it appears that they were trying to fight off the attacker. It happened in the early morning hours after a night of partying. Uh, one couple, Zana Konodal uh, and uh, Ethan Chapin, were at a party at Sigma Chi Fraternity. It's not far from here. It's really in walking distance. And the other couple, Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, the best of friends, they were out at the Corner Club. It's a bar in the area. They all came back here and uh, were all home by around 2 in the morning on that early Sunday morning and what happened between 2 a.m. and noon when that first 911 call came in well that is still a mystery but we hope to learn more today at that press conference. Amara. All right to be held at 4 p.m. Eastern. Appreciate your reporting Veronica Miracle. Thank you. Also